My CBD products are available online. Click on the link in my description box below. In the top left corner, you should see my name. Go to shop now and check out everything that's listed. I have everything from body butter to different types of gummies, tea tree oil, black seed oil, eucalyptus, immune defense, pain relief cream, shampoo, I have pre-rolls, flat belly detoxification, beard and scalp oil, hair products, nasal spray, and even sexual enhancements. Go to the website, check it out for me. You can support the channel by purchasing anything from the website. I appreciate you all. By the 1970s, Richard Fritz Simmons is introduced to the drug trade by the Italians. After negotiating a deal with the Medellin cartel, Fritz becomes New York's cocaine consignment king. The lucrative deal unlocks a lavish lifestyle with more money than Fritz family could ever imagine. Now. Distributing kilos of cocaine on a kingpin level to many of well-known Harlem heavyweights, Fritz employs hundreds throughout the five boroughs of New York. Fritz further extends his generosity in ways people have never seen in the community. Fritz reigns supreme for over a decade in the drug game making millions under the radar of the NYPD and never got busted. Richard Fritz Simmons, you probably heard of this brother. The man who gave Rich Porter 30 bricks. Rich was born October 8th, 1957 in Charleston, South Carolina. Around the time Richard was about 9 or 10 years old, his father was murdered during an armed robbery. Word was around town that this is what his pops was about. This wasn't his first time. He was known for committing robberies. And you see, many people who were close to him were shocked because this was a stand-up brother right here. Didn't curse, didn't drink, didn't smoke. Treated everyone with respect. Treated his wife kind, his kids, his parents. But growing up in that time, you know, sometimes brothers got desperate for money. On Tuesday, April 9th, 1963, Richard's father, Clifford, made the New York Times. The headline read, Gunman is killed in police battle. You see, during the robbery, they pulled up at a Bronx Tavern around 9.30 a.m. They robbed the owner and everyone inside. As they ran and got into the getaway car, police chased them. A shootout kicked off and Richard's father was killed. Now, a while later after Clifford's death, the mother of Richard Fritz's siblings, Will Helmina, met a man named Leroy. Now see, Leroy was a monster. Leroy was abusive, physically, mentally, 
emotionally, and even sexually. Once Leroy came into the picture, everything changed. Now, Richard's siblings, Sheila and Junior, were in the Bronx, and Richard and his sister Evelyn were in South Carolina. Richard and Evelyn were close, and they were very much alike. Evelyn got frustrated trying to find work in South Carolina, and so she moved back up to Harlem. Richard came with her. Richard adapted to his new lifestyle, quickly made friends, quickly made a name for himself, and Richard Fritz Simmons, everybody was about to find out what this dude was about. You see, Richard was the type of cat who was the life of the party. And him and his boy Rob began promoting parties. Richard loved to dance. You know, he always was still the show. Flashy cat. Got all the women. All the fellas was jealous of him. And Richard was a dude who had a lot of charisma. One night, a community center was having a party that was packed with teenagers, and a bunch of older dudes came in who refused to pay. These cats came in trying to fight the party promoters. One of the security guards ran up, pulled out his 45, and let off a shot in the air. Now everybody scattered running around. Richard grabbed a chair to protect himself in case they let off more shots. Some of Richard's boys, Curtis, Danny, and Rob, was running through the crowd, many different directions, everybody's going crazy. Rich began making a pathway to the front entrance. One of the security guards thought Rich was one of the dudes who was in there trying to fight. Grabbed him by the collar and cracked him in the head with the 45. And then somebody else hit Rich, knocking him out cold. One of Rich's boys ran up and hit the guy who hit Rich, and then he pulled out a 38, pointing it at the crowd. Everybody backed up. Now Rich's buddies dragged Rich up out of the spot. So they dragged Rich to the car. About a half a mile away, Rich wakes up like, yo, what happened? Who hit me? Nah, I'm going back. His buddies tried to talk him out of it. Rich began kicking the back of the seat, raising hell, like, yo, let me up out of here. They let Rich out of the car. Rich began walking back to the party. His buddies followed him back to the building. And once he arrived back, Rich spotted the man who hit him and started beating the hell out of him. Later on that night, the cops picked up Rich and his buddies and they spent a few days on Rikers. Fritz was mostly a quiet, mild-mannered dude, but he had a violent side. If you brought trouble or jeopardized his livelihood, he became a completely different person. One day when Rich was a teenager, two bullies tried to pick a fight with him over a pool game. One of the guys tried to attack him with a stick. Fritz ended up taking the stick cracked the guy over the head with it and started hitting him until he was standing over a pool of blood and the guy was unconscious. The victim ended up in the hospital and his parents pressed criminal charges. There was a trial, but eventually it was dismissed and they said Rich acted in self-defense. In 1975, one of his cousins was robbed and he finally caught up to the guy. He snatched him up, tied him to a chair with electrical cord, then wrapped the cord around the guy's neck all the way down to his hands. Every time he tried to move, the cord cut off his oxygen and sliced into his throat, choking him. Then he started beating him with the 38. He untied him, made him strip naked, and forced him into a bath of ice-cold water. 
Rich high school days were coming to an end, and working a nine to five or joining the military was just not his thing. You see, Rich wanted paper, serious paper. Speaking of that, make sure you go back and watch my videos about AZ Faison, Rich Porter, and Alpo, and also watch part four about all three of them. So Rich wanted this paper. He began selling knockoff designer brand clothes, but that wasn't really getting him enough. So he met this cat named TJ, and TJ told him, yo, I'm selling coke. That right there got the wheels spinning in Rich Head. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Please follow the History With No Chase of Facebook and Instagram pages. Chase on me, no chase on me, no chase on me, no chase.